Hey, thanks for joining me in this video today. Uh, today we will be cutting out a couple metal signs on our CNC uh, plasma cutter in the metal shop. We will be creating a DFX file on the um, VCarve software and then converting that, exporting it, and bringing it into QCAD. Um, just making sure everything's right. I'm pretty sure we could go straight to sheet cam, but I haven't done that yet. Um, and maybe by the time you're watching this video, I've put out an update that, hey, you can go straight to sheet cam. Uh, in sheet cam, we are going to uh, make the tool path, uh, a jet cutting tool path uh, for the plasma cutter. Uh, so we're cutting on the uh, right side of all the lines, the correct side of all the lines. And then um, over to the Star Labs control software, where I'm going to show you the quick way to hone the machine and set it up. Uh, we're going to jog it to the spot on our steel, and then we're going to let her rip. And it's going to cut out a tractor um, on when I record the screen of the uh, computer. But then actually when I take the steel out, off the machine. It's from another sign I made uh, for the boardroom, which is going to go on that door right over there. Um, and then uh, I do a little bit of sanding uh, and then we'll wrap it up at the end. Refer back to the video uh, if you have questions along the way um, or you're uh, programming a Starlab machine and you're like, what did he say? So feel free to watch it again. And uh, here we go. Here's the view from our VCarve. Um, and we're looking over the piece. We've already imported the file and did a lot of the editing, uh, taking out the small details. I did uh, forget a couple big uh, details uh, in the tractor hubs on the big wheel and the small wheel. But we'll see that in a little bit here. Uh, this part up here is where the torch is going to come in and, and make this point. Um, and what we're doing is just going to clean this up a little bit because it's not going to be able to make a tight point like that uh, in the size that we're doing. It also has open vectors, so I have to join vectors together with the little button over there. Um, there's two open vectors and zero closed. We want to hit join. And so now we will have one closed vector. Uh, that'll be a continuous cut uh, with the plasma cutter. And that's what all the other ones should be set up at, which I already edited that. Um, and once you know how to do one, it's pretty easy to do the rest of them. And we've got them all. The vectors are good to go. I'm just checking over for final details. You really can go in a lot of depth with VCarve. It's a really good program. I've been using it for oh, about 10 or 12 years now. And they keep coming up with great updates. Um, yeah, good program. And then we're going to uh, save it to a DFX file. Now this part is where we're homing uh, the uh, plasma cutter. And I'm getting it close with the arrow keys on the keyboard and then I'm going to click home on the control panel on the screen. And there the slow motion is it homing itself and then it gives a little up. There's the X axis homed and now we do the Y. And it touches the little sensors, finds out where it is and that's at home. So this is a really poor view of the computer screen. Um, I'm just taking my file from the flash drive, dropping it onto the desktop, uh, and then opening up QCAD, and we're gonna import that file. So here comes QCAD, import. We select uh, our file. Sorry, you can't see what folders I'm going in. Maybe it's because they're top secret. There's our tractor. 
uh, that we edited and we're just using the scroll button to get over close to the red origin area and then I right click to cancel that tracker and then we save this you can edit text on QCAD you can um, you can do all sorts of things I haven't hardly scratched the surface with QCAD on what it can do um, but you can do all that there I'm just more familiar with VCarve right now this is sheet cam we're going to import our QCAD file into sheet cam and I think we could just go s skip QCAD and go straight from VCarve to here but this is what I know for now so we're early on in this uh, so you're learning right along with me um, we're looking it over we're going to do a jet cutting toolpath we're going to do an inside offset on our layer underscore one and everything else is preset uh, for the thickness of our steel uh, we're running a 45 amp plasma cutter and I think it's 22 gauge steel um, very thin stuff just for light duty uh, we use it for um, making signs here at the shop um, and here we're opening the Star Labs program we hit uh, e-stop active and then we home the machine which I did a video just a bit ago for that and then we are going to open the file then we are gonna get it all zeroed out and now we're jogging the machine uh, to an open spot in the steel the steel had uh, a couple other signs uh, cut out on it and so just using the arrow keys I'm jogging the machine over to where I want it to fit um, so we're not wasting material we're gonna get it as close to the other sign that I cut out as we can which you'll see me take that particular sign out because I didn't I recorded the cutting of that one and then recorded the screen view of this one so as you once you uh, find the spot where it's going to start we uh, zero our X our Y and we uh, lower down our um, Z axis so it's about a quarter inch or so above the steel and then we zero that which you saw in the coordinates um, in that lower left area of the screen and then away it goes um, this is in uh, uh, double speed I do believe maybe quadruple speed um, so this is not normal uh, speed this is just to condense the video so you can see what it's doing and you can see the crosshairs are showing right exactly where the torch is uh, and it is cutting away and then you'll see that it's highlighted a different color that means it's done um, and it does all the inside uh, cuts first because you don't want the big shape to fall out and then you can't cut all the details so away it goes here and you can see the cursor um, over by all the X, Y, and Z coordinates moving down the line so you kind of have an idea of when the cut will be done. This uh, sign tractor silhouette thing took roughly three and a half, four minutes to cut out from start to finish in actual time. Um, so yeah, it's pretty quick. That circle right there is the one I should have edited uh, so it stayed in there, added some notches, but you live and learn and here we go with the final perimeter and then the machine will jog back to the origin spark boom there it is this is a view of uh, the sign prior to that tractor that I cut out it's just some simple text with a uh, random shape around it uh, for the boardroom and wham bam that in real time took probably about two and a half three minutes taking all the little pieces out first 
so they don't drop into the water and there it is and we gotta dry it off and there's a horse surprise horse here's the tractor um, sanding of a steel wool now let's use the grinder this is the back side don't hold it down with your hand clamp it down and then use two hands on the grinder um, and this is just cleaning up the uh, slag and the thicker material on the back side um, the sanding wheel leaves more uh, abrasions and grooves in it some people like that some people don't and then this is um, just roughing it up a little bit cleaning it up with uh, the steel wool and here's the boardroom sign and the steel wool just getting that grime and dust off and it still looks smooth Thanks for sticking to the end of the video. Um, the part I did not cover was the painting. I mean, I sanded it down, shined it up with some steel wool there at the end, and then I brought it to the finishing room and gave it a coat of some metallic spray paint, uh, make it a little shiny, put a little clear coat over it, and then when that's all dry, I will stick it to that door right over there. Um, just like to have things labeled and it was a good example project as I get more familiar um, with using the Star Lab uh, four foot by four foot CNC plasma cutter. Um, yeah, be sure you like, subscribe and uh, all those other things uh, as I begin this journey of, of YouTube. Um, hopefully it was informative. Hopefully it all help with your projects and uh, we will see you in the next video.